Hi, Denny Johnson again, and welcome to the continuing examination of the iris of the eye as a mirror of the human soul. The basic understanding is, is that the different structural composition of the iris of the eye reflects different attributes or qualities of the soul. And each one of these four different compositions are like a wide range of characteristics. But this wide range of characteristics has a dynamic experience involved in it. These are feeling experiences of the soul's animation through the body. This pattern here is a composition of open web fibers like petals of a flower and individual little spots. This is a radiant type of individuality that is a composition of the expression or the movement or the display of life. The one next to it, the system of the structure of the eye here is much more dense and fiber arrangements are straight. This has a lot to do with the consistency and the firmness of life. This is a tactile connector. The third one is the composition of the individual flecks or brown dots in the eye. This particular type of soul has the natural desire to seek answers, to discover, to pierce, to look for the truth. The last one over here, these open web petals throughout but without any of the brown dots inside of it, this one here has a tendency for spatial perception allowing or the increase of the capacity for feeling or imagination. These four are degrees of extremes of this type. The three of these in this one vertical line are like three examples of this particular type in three different stages. So this dynamic movement oriented radiant display type is the experience of this feeling within oneself, within the social phenomena, and within greater achievements. This tactile communicator, this experience of the connectedness between individuals and groups and between connections within systems or species of nature, this tactile type is sometimes considered the firm or the the consistent or the harmonious, one who displays wisdom or solidness or some degree of service or caring. So you can go through each one of these four and end up with a discrete personality indicator because each one of these four, they represent the extremes of personality types. Those personality types involved in the experience of changing dynamics, the personality type that has a consistency of personality or integrity. This other is the experience of the seeking or the analytical, the person who has a tendency to want to know more, the serendipity, the seeking of something. The last one is the experience of the feeling presentation and the capacity to be able to imagine and open and allow Sometimes they have the experience of liking quiet or solitude. These four different constitutional types and their three different types of extremes, they represent a range of 12 different iris configurations that also represent the different types of personalities that are within us all the time. These 12 different compositions, they have a lot to do with body systems, glands, organs, they have natural personality strengths and natural personality weaknesses as well. But if you scrape away all of the characteristics that you might conceive to be here, there are some long-term individual attributes in each one of these that are distinctly unique to each one of these 12. These are 12 distinct personality and soul attributes. By being able to recognize what they are how they are, how they feel, how they affect us has a lot to do with everything about our health, our well-being, and our happiness. Later you will be able to recognize that this 
sequence of these three, they represent a dynamics inside the body. Each one of these three, like this one having a degree of density, less density, and the softest of the density, this is also a sequence inside the body. This three here, the small dot configuration, slightly more than the most, this is a sequence of three forms of the analytical or thinking seeking type. They come in sequences. This one here has only one or two of the small open webs. This one has more and this one perhaps has the most. This too is also a sequence of degrees of magnitude. So whenever I'm looking at the structure of the eye, I'm always asking myself, to what degree do they have the composition of any one of these four? If I look at any iris pattern, I ask myself, to what degree does it have these four types? The more consistency, then there's the greater consistency and integrity in that particular person. The more the brown dots, the greater the influence of the desire to seek. The greater the influence of the number of the open webs, then the greater the tendency there is to feel and open and expand and allow and change. So I'm looking at all irises looking for these four different types. When I discover which consistent type it is, then there will be relationship attractions. Yes, the iris structure begins to reveal our relationship attractions. By being able to understand this relationship attraction, it begins to teach us the reasons why people and families through generations they come together. Come again sometime and we'll talk about the relationship patterns and what they mean to us. Have a good day.